Oh, fireworks. Woohoo! I didn't know we could see these fireworks from here. Those are the Star Wars fireworks for sure. So, Sarah surprised me. We only have four days left of our XM radio uh, trial from when we bought our car, and we fell in love with it, I think, and we're sad that we're not gonna have it. Because today, I usually listen to the news, and which is like, you know, 98% upsetting. So Sarah's like, hold on, I gotta show you something. Yep, yep, let's go. Christmas music on XM Radio. Uh, it's amazing. Thank you, Teresa Marriott, for posting yes. the stations online. We are on our way to Disney Springs. So enjoy it for like maybe an hour. Yeah, because... Because this homegirl's got <laughs> work tonight. She's got to do packing tonight. She's got to... And my flight is at 6 a.m., so we're leaving at 3.30, so... Yeah. So, I have seven hours to get my act together, but I'm going to Disney World instead. Hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So it's a little bit later. So it's eight o'clock. We were gonna go see Hanson. We were gonna go see Hanson, but Jill couldn't make it. And then we were gonna go, and right as we were about to have dinner, our we have these new neighbors that moved in that are super nice, and they came by to say bye to Sarah. How sweet is that? <laughs> and then I got to meet them because they only they have Sarah's in during the day while she walks Eve. So I got to meet them. So they're super nice. And then Matt called. Then Matt called. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> so then, we're just gonna go to Christmas because we're gonna get a Giardelli. Get a Giardelli. Gonna walk around. And hopefully they're playing Christmas music because <laughs> it's Christmas time in Disney World. Hollywood Studios is full on Christmas. I think some of the other parts. You're gonna are. see so much without me. Well, the st the studios is full on Christmas because the the filming is Friday. Mm. So my goal is secretly to see all the Christmas Parade Day filming, at least to a degree. Friday is studios. I'm going to be there for Fantastic Fridays. Still going to Fantastic Fridays. Anybody out there? Um, Sarah won't be there. I'll be lonely. So if you want to come hang out, let me know. Saturday, I'm actually going to Animal Kingdom for our friend's birthday. And they're doing the filming at Animal Kingdom on Saturday too. And then Sunday through Tuesday, they're doing Magic Kingdom. So I'll just probably go to Magic Kingdom on Sunday and Monday. And maybe Tuesday. Guys. I know. I'm just saying that's, that's a defense of it. It's not even that busy. For, I, I keep thinking it's Friday. It's, it's Wednesday. I'm like, wow, it is not busy at all here. Because I'm not going to work the next two days. Uh, I'm working from home the next two days. So. By the way, I left and I realized I don't have a lick of makeup on. She doesn't have any makeup on. She doesn't have a cell phone on. She doesn't have hair. She doesn't have her photo ID. She doesn't got none. Mary Force be with you. And over here, come over to the Mary side. It is full force Christmas now. They get the house. No, not full force. I'm hoping they have some extra Christmassy stuff because we are in Once Upon a Christmas store. Once Upon a Christmas time is Christmas. That's where we're at. If anybody didn't know, because we're not, we don't, we, they released the 25 days of Christmas lineup, the schedule for ABC Family. If you didn't know, this is actually the series that Sarah and I collects. Victoria and Mickey and Minnie. Just got a little place in our hearts. We just hit. What's this thing? Jammy. We just hit the jam. Jimmy jackpot. We hit the jackpot. We found the Christmas pajamas. I need this. These are the men's. No, this is women's. I still need this. Where's mine? I need this. Where's ones that are socially acceptable for me to wear? I'd wear these ones. If the world let me. If Sarah lets me. Holiday mode. Like usually it's in vacation mode. Oh, look at this sweater though. That's a cute sweater. 
<gasps> this is Beauty and the Beast. Ooh. Oh, look, it's like a Christmas version. That's my favorite Disney logo. It's this D with the Mickey in it, but it's Christmas. All right, all that, sir. You know what I want for my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> that joke is gonna run out very fast unless I become so obnoxious that I just still use that joke the day after my birthday. Look at this Mickey and Miggy hugging with care. They're in their PJs, Sarah. They're giving you their PJs. Have you ever seen anything so cute? We need to figure out what we're gonna get for our Christmas tree. We also need to find out where. I heard there's a place like two hours north that sells Christmas trees. Apparently it's a commodity, hot commodity in, in Central Florida where you, you can't get a real life Christmas tree. We're getting a real life Christmas tree. We need to get, we need to get it early so it's fresh because it's gonna take forever for them to come from like Oregon over here. Folks, Fine. all of your childhood memories are gone, Sarah. I've never been to Disney <laughs> You were there. I went there once because we got free tickets on our college program. But I'm about to snitch on her. Just now, we're walking over here. This didn't happen. And she saw two gentlemen who we don't know walking or standing like side by side. She goes up to one and pretends like she's gonna tap him on the shoulder. And I almost lost it. She got, she was like literally right by these two strange men. And she did not know who they were. And she was gonna pretend to tap on the shoulder. She didn't. But she got so close to actually doing it. I don't know why I said the baby. Because it was hilarious. Like, so out of character. So out of character. She was just like, I don't know. It, it floored me. I was beyond the words. I couldn't stop laughing out of like... You were cackling. I was cackling because of like nervousness and surprise and laughter, pure enjoyment. But it was like 50% fun, 50% so surprised. Cause she walked up like, like it was not, it was, it was perfect natural behavior. She was like... I didn't do it. I know you didn't, but you almost did. You almost did. What would they have done? What would you have done? You would have been tricked. You would not have anymore. Then he sees you, then what? You're <laughs> no, a complete that's stranger. the whole thing is that you play like... You, <laughs> no, it would have been the alternate prank. Like, he wouldn't have been able to know. There was nobody else around. So he's going to get a ghost? <laughs> Either he's the girl who would be cackling or a no, ghost. No, I would be playing it cool. You would not have played it cool. You'd be like... I'm walking away though, so he would not have been able to... This is what we're doing right now at 11.23 before she needs to leave in four hours. Holy we're getting holy. we're getting button packs ready. I don't even think she's done packing. Are you done packing? Um, yeah. I just need to throw my, like, my final, like, my contacts and glasses and stuff. But we're going to sign off today's vlog right now because I need to get these files on the computer because Sarah's actually going to take the G7X with her and I'm going to use our Canon. Possibly, I'll probably end up using my iPhone more. So I apologize in advance for any non-stability in the next five days worth of vlogs. But Sarah's It'll gonna- It'll be worth the, yeah, Sarah's the gonna, double look into our lives. Yeah, she's gonna take the, the Canon with her to Chicago and gonna send me the files every day so I can actually edit for the next like week or so, or less. Yeah. With that, it's, it's good, good to, to be, be home. home. What are we gonna do tomorrow?
We'll say it both and then I'll cut it. Make sure you're standing on the right side of the frame. Okay. And I'll stand on the left side of the frame like this. And, we'll, <laughs> and I'll cut it so we both say it the exact same time. It's good, good to, to be, be home. home. Yikes. Good night. She owes me a pop. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.